The Kampong Chenang Province Administration plans to move 750 families as part of a five-year plan to beautify the riverfront and improve water quality. Governor Kirchandoan said authorities made the decision to postpone the relocation after considering the impact it would have on the livelihoods of the families, the Phnom Penh Post reported Thursday. We constantly think about the people's livelihoods. In this case, they have been doing cage fish farming. So if we move the cages onto land, the fish will die. So we let them keep their homes and cage fish farms temporarily. They need to settle on land. They can keep their cage fish farms but can't live in the area permanently. He added that authorities are preparing for the relocation within the next six months. It will be done in two phases, according to Provincial Deputy Governor Sun Shovani Roth. In the first phase, the government will build the required infrastructure for families already relocated and those who do not make a living off fish cages. In the resettlement areas, local authorities and NGOs will build roads, schools, health centers, and water and power supply systems. In the second phase authorities will work with private companies to turn fish farms into tourist attractions. Cambodia's Lake Tonlesap is the largest freshwater body in Southeast Asia. Boasting one of the most fertile ecosystems in the world, it provides 75% of Cambodia's freshwater fish catches. According to the Cambodian Overseas Vietnamese Association, over 1,500 Vietnamese households live in floating villages by the lake. At a meeting last November Cambodian Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Prak Sakhan and Vietnamese Deputy Prime Minister Pham Bin Min agreed to work together to relocate the floating families in the Donal Sap area. The video is sponsored by CNTronic.com.